Wow. That was a bomb. I told you earlier, you got a bomb portfolio <laughs> here. This Boom. Is, this is why they pay you the big bucks. I see yeah. what you did. <laughs> Welcome to Price Went Up. I'm your host, Christian Crosby. We're here on Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood. We're about to meet up with Roz Goldham Wude. She's an ESPN commentator, NFT collector, and Web3 investor. We're about to go inside and find out what she means when she says she's in these NFT streets. I have no idea what that means. We're about to find out now. Ready? Let's go. Yo, Roz. Yo. What's up? This is sick. This is crazy. What is this? This is RK. Yo. These are yo. my NFTs. <laughs> These are all yours too? I know. It's crazy to wow. see it like on display in this gallery. I see there's the barcodes on here. So it takes you straight to OpenSea. You can see that. Oh. I own my MVP <laughs> punk and it's Ross Gold on Wood, eh? And see? I am the Red Lobster. Wait, so why are you the Red Lobster? <laughs> What is that about? I love them cheddar biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you actually got in early on one of the biggest NFT communities. I did get in on the Yuga Labs investment, their seed round. Their flagship NFT project would be Board Ape Yacht Club. I hold apes, I've got mutants, I've got the Kennel Club dogs. You know, and these were all airdrop, which is a reward for your part, you know, for your participation, for your, your your conviction. Like if you were minting and around end of April, you would have minted for 0.08 ETH, Ethereum. And maybe that was around 200 something dollars. By then that ape would have airdropped you a mutant, which has a, a value. Yep. Um, would have airdropped you a kennel club dog, which has a value. You would have recently gotten an airdrop of ape coin. Like that $200 would have turned in, turned you into about a half a million at no. this date. Like no way. about 500,000. <laughs> Why are you saying it like it's normal? No. That's crazy. <laughs> no, it's what are nuts. we talking about right in now? In less no than way. a year. $200. In less than a year. But in general, crypto investments tend to be very exponentially lucrative, also wildly dangerous the other way as well. Make sure you take your gains, do your homework, not financial advice. For real, there's a lot of noise in this space too, and I'm not gonna do this show without saying that. Like, make sure you do your ho your homework, do your research, not financial advice, um, right. and you understand like both the larger concepts and also all the excitement in PFPs as well. There's a lot happening in Web3 beyond just flipping your, your cartoon picture. You have anywhere between 200 and 300 <laughs> NFTs. How do you keep up with it? I'm being active. I like to say I'm in these NFT streets. <laughs> I'm trying to make as many mints as I can. What the heck is minting? Right. You get the project right as it comes out, like when a project drops, and then from there on, anytime it moves or how it exists in the space um, will be transcribed forever on the blockchain. It's very exciting. I was actually putting together a little grid of my favorite PFPs that I have, my favorite girls, mm -hmm. and I was looking and I was like, there's a whole lot of black girl magic in this. And then not only do I think I have a very large collection of black-centered PFPs, I think I have probably if not the one of the most valuable collections. Mm -hmm. What do you look for? What is your, what is your thing? That's a good question, actually, because like, how do you know how which you... traits are valuable? Right. Well, for instance, this is also a world of women, and this is a night goddess. There's only 85 night goddesses, period. And you, and out of 10. Is, and you have one. And I have one. Do it socially. Do not try to do this alone. The space is moving too fast. Plus, it's more fun in a community with all your NFT friends. You get one to recover your initial investment. You get two to flip when things are flying high. And then three, you kept that third one, you know, for the ride and see where it goes. Remember to take gains, okay? Because you might be building a collection that's starting to grow in value. And it's important to take gains along the way because in crypto, things go up and they also go down. But do your own research, not financial advice. I don't know. <laughs> I want to know why. Like now it's clear that this is a thing, right. but you were doing it when it wasn't so clear. I think a, a real wake up point was when I was watching what was happening in Nigeria around NSARS. I'm Nigerian myself and I wanted to help and they, the government had actually shut down the banks. And the only way to give donations to the protesters was via cryptocurrency. And then I'm looking at NBA Top Shot, which was my first NFT, but at first I was looking from the outside and I was like, what? How we assign value to an asset is changing or even yep. what an asset can be. Then our concept of a dollar and like why, why couldn't we have something that we love be valuable and be some kind of a currency as well. I just decided that I wanted to pay attention 
and I didn't want to get left out. They turned Staples Center to Crypto.com Arena. I'm like, dang, I'm working games and LeBron James is coming out on like Crypto.com Arena. I'm like, you gotta pay attention, you know? Like The people who invested in Bored Apes and, and bought them, they were not geniuses. Nobody knew what it was gonna be. Right, that was it was before, right. Participating builds your luck. There you go. Right. I was starting to look for more substance okay. in my collection and in how I was moving in Web3. This is a woman rise. World of Women is like, I would definitely say, one of the heavyweights of the entire Web3 space with Bored Apes, with CryptoPunks. This is a blue chip. Part of the Atom Bomb Squad, it's Madame Bomb. Part of Bobby Hunnett's overall NFT collection. I really like how the hoodie also kind of looks like a smiley face. I don't, know, I don't know if I'm just seeing that and it's not a thing. What is this? This is a long necky lady. I, okay. <laughs> okay. Every time we try to talk about an NFT, the screen flips into another one you own and you have so many that it's hard for us to just stay on My one and talk about shy. it. It's like, oh, this one, and then it flips, and it's like, oh, this one. We gotta talk about CryptoPunks, right? I have to. This is my girl. This one represents me. You know, she's an athlete. But you know, at the same time, she, you know, she's dripped out. She got a little bling. She wears makeup because I'm on air, on TV as a broadcaster. Almost any successful celebrity that was either an athlete or maybe a rapper or an actor started changing their Twitter profiles or Instagram profiles to these punks. And I, I remember me being like, what, what is going on? Right. Is there some cool wave that's going on that <laughs> I don't know about? They're largely understood as like the OG NFT community. Are we talking $20,000? Yeah, like 20 to 30,000. 20 to 30,000 yeah. was the investment or the current price now? No, 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 it was the investment, which was a bold move. I am not rich. I think right now to get a crypto punk, I mean, you're talking about um, over $200,000, many of them are work. And then another thing, as I saw what was happening with punks, I quickly got a second one. I'm gonna need one that I wanna pass down to my children, and then I'm gonna need one that eventually I wanna sell and flip. Well, the floor on punks is somewhere around 75 ETH, and ETH is kind of nearing 3,500. You're looking at $260,000 for a floor punk. I had an old car and I bought a new one. And so like that is a real world physical thing that I can say I'm happy to have made that trade off for. Bow! Man, okay, so this is a lot different than the other one. The imagery is so interesting. I wanna know the purpose behind it. So this is actually a commission. It was done by an artist that I like, a black artist, Yasnir. His work looks like tarot cards in some ways. Yeah. My dad had passed away in April. My mom has, you know, full-blown Alzheimer's and dementia. Um, so she doesn't like walk, she doesn't talk. Even though I can't have my parents the way I used to know them, I have peace because I know their love is always with me. Yeah. On the fingertips, the moons, my, his nickname for me is Akiamuki, which means the light of the moon in the night. My mother's eye is in the middle and she has green eyes. He actually took a childhood picture of me, so that's me as a kid. You'll notice the headband, that's how I often was walking around. And that's why I wanted this to be on blockchain. Your NFT lives forever on blockchain. So it was almost a way of immortalizing them through the blockchain. I'm gonna have to go cry. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Like, Yo. As, as I remembered that, <laughs> you know? Oh my God, thank you for sharing that. That was so special, that <laughs> no, was amazing. That thank was you. great. Thank you. And there it is. I mean, Roz Gold shut it down. I mean, she knows her stuff. It was really cool. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Price went up. California lifestyle, hustling my lifestyle. Got beef, don't wait. We can settle right now.